or you a person who always underestimate your talent or often you think i am capable of doing only this then this story is for you welcome to fable mind a treasure trove of inspiration once there was a beggar who used to beg on the street for money every day he roam on the street and beg for money he used to manage his family using the money he collected on that day days were passing like that one day he noticed a well dressed businessman wearing a suit and boots he thought this man must be very rich if i ask him he will surely give some money with this thought he went and asked the man for money the man looked at the beggar and said you always keep asking people for money do you ever give anything to anyone the beggar said sir i am a beggar i can only ask for money how will i be able to give anything the man replied when you can't give anything to anyone then you don't have any rights to ask as well I am a businessman. I believe in transactions only. If you have something to give me, then I can also give you something in return. Saying this, the man started moving from that place. Whatever the man said, those both somehow reached beggar's heart. He started thinking, maybe I do not get much money because I am not able to give anything in return. But being a beggar, what do i have that's worth giving the whole day has passed thinking about this but he could not find anything to give next day he doesn't have any mood to beg he was simply walking on the street all he could think was that businessman's words with that thought he was roaming on the street here and there suddenly his eyes fell on some beautiful flowers an idea flashed on his mind why not to give some flowers to the people in return for the money immediately he plucked some flowers from there and went to the street for begging whenever someone give money to him he would give some flowers to them in return people used to keep these flowers happily with them he started doing this every day but soon he realized that as long as he had flowers many people used to give him money but when he had no flask left with him he won't get much money one day when he was begging on the street he saw the same businessman because of whom he got inspired to distribute flasks the beggar immediately reached out to him and said sir today i have some flasks to give you in return the businessman thought for a minute he could recollect this beggar with the smile on his face the man gave him some money in return of the flowers the businessman was quite impressed with his idea he said to the beggar today you too have become a businessman like me taking the flowers he moved from that place once again his word touched the beggar's heart he kept thinking about it again and again and realized the key to change his life he immediately moved out from that place from that moment onwards he was never seen on the road four years later the same businessman was getting ready to board a flight suddenly he noticed a well dressed man approaching him the man came to him with the joined hands and asked do you recognize me sir the confused businessman replied no maybe we are meeting for the first time the man requested sir please try to remember we are not meeting for the first time but for the third time well i can't remember when was that we met before the businessman asked again the man smiled and said we have met twice on the road i am the same beggar whom you told that in the first meeting what i should do in my life in the second meeting you told me who i am really because of your advice today i am a very big flower merchant 
Now, I am going to another city for the same business. I always thought of myself as a beggar. I never thought to rise above it. You told me the law of nature in the first meeting. We get something only when we give something. When I met you for the second time, you told me that I have become a businessman. Thank you sir for that. From that day onwards, my perspective about me changed. And now, I have really become a businessman. I am not a beggar anymore. With this, the story ends. But from this story, I want to tell you one thing. Many of us often underestimate our talent. We generally create our own perception about us. Whether you are a student, working professional or a homemaker, whoever you are, we all are blessed with lots of talent. Let's not underestimate ourselves. Whenever you feel low, think of this story. One day, even you will be success in your life. Change the way you look at things and the things you look at change. Hope you all like this video. Next week, I'll meet you with another interesting story.